baddies welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome my name is kayla Raza davis and today we're doing an install this install is brought to you by nadula hair i stuttered don't mind that <laughs> so this is from nadula hair 13 by 4 24 inches absolutely obsessed i'm obsessed because the lace melted perfectly the hair was so soft so full so full and at the end you're gonna see how the curls came out i started i wanted to do one curl so that's what i did it came out so pretty it really gave like an old hollywood glam obsess obsess so i'm gonna show you guys step by step of everything i did to achieve this melt and hairdo of course so right now we're starting to cut the ear tabs because we don't need it and i'm gonna cut my hair in three sections i find it easier for me to cut my hair in three sections it's just easier to install so if you're a beginner if you're a beginner try the three sections first and then yeah i just say do the three sections it's super easy super easy it's not going to be as messy if you would have done it like all over with one step it's super easy in my opinion so i'm going to use the ors wig glue well not glue gel and y'all i love this stuff now that i know how to you know work with it so i'm gonna do two layers i used to do three in a spray but today i'm doing two because i'm not gonna wear this wig for too long so yeah also i already applied like my foundation to the lace and the stocking cap i used my Too faced born this way matte foundation in the shade spice rum I actually, I actually, <laughs> I absolutely love this shade now for my laces because it matches perfectly. Yes, it's a little dark, but it doesn't look too red or too orange or way too dark. I feel like it's perfect just for that, just because I do use it for my face, you know? So make sure you find a foundation that's a matte foundation. Do not use aluminous or anything. Make sure it's a matte foundation and make sure it's your color or a shade darker. Basically, I'm going to apply the gel, two layers of gel, then use the blow dryer for a little bit until it gets tacky. Then I'm going to place the lace where I need it to go. And then you're going to see me use the comb to press in the lace because we're trying to give scalp. Okay. And I'm going to do that to every section.
So go ahead and get your elastic band because now we're going to secure the lace, okay? Time to melt the lace. So we did that for like 30 minutes and now we're going to go ahead and cut the lace with our eyebrow archer. And on the side, I'm going to do scissors because on one side, I'm not going to really do much just because we're going to do a side part. So yes, yes, a side part. Like I haven't did a side part in a minute. I really like side parts, but then again, I prefer a 13 by 6 wig over a 13 by 4 because with a 13 by 6 wig, it just looks more natural. And I'm going to use the spray. I love the spray, y'all. And I'm going to help with the milk. So we're going to do a side part and I'm going to do my baby hairs after I figure out the side part. And don't worry if the baby hairs look too thick by the end of the video, I'm going to fix it. I found my tweezers because y'all, I could not find my tweezers to pluck anything. So I'm going to find my tweezers and the baby hairs and the sideburns is going to be plucked more evenly. Like it's going to look more like scalp, you know, hair growing from the scalp. So don't worry about right now trust the process okay but at the end you'll see the real tea okay Also, make sure to have everything down below in the description box for you guys. The products, the tools, and this wig will all be in the description box so you guys can purchase. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with my voice, so please excuse that. But for my sideburns, I'm going to use a gel. And for my baby hair next to my parting, I'm going to use a mousse. Just because I don't want my edges to be crispy. <laughs> like, I want my sideburns to make sure to stay in place. But I want my baby hair to be like a little fluffy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying.
So I'm going to add a couple of layers because I feel like that's how my curls look so nice and formed and fluffy. So I'm going to add curls to the other side and the other side. And I'm only going to do one curls on one side because I doubt you guys want to see me do my whole head with one curls. Like, I feel like the video is going to be super long. So I'm going to do one side and then I'm going to do the bang so you guys can see how everything comes together. So I think this is the bed head one. I think I bought this from Ulta a long time ago, but I'll make sure to have it down below because I really don't remember. And I'm going to pin my hair with these pins that I bought from my local beauty supply store.
could not I could not find my Sebastian hairspray. So we just have to do this hairspray, which is perfectly fine. It did the job. So y'all, look at the curls. It's giving the I love this wig, y'all. It held curls beautifully. Just make sure you spray them so they can last longer. This wig was so full. I love the length. I love the volume. I love the lace. Like, I have no complaints. So, I made sure to have everything down below. It was easy to pluck. As you can see, it looks so much better, does it not? But if you guys want to make a tutorial on this um makeup, I will make sure to have it down below. Not down below, but I can definitely record this for you guys. I can definitely record this for you guys because this look came out so pretty y'all i was not expecting this teal to look so good like this but thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much thanks for all the support and i'll see you guys in my next video